Happy Sabbath, everyone. Um, so as I was preparing for this um, Sabbath school remarks, um, I thought about the word Sabbath school and how we all break up into classes, right, for our Sabbath school. So I compared it first, I thought about my own school and the experiences that I've had there, and maybe I could find some similarities um, and then give some suggestions about how we should go about with Sabbath school. So it made me think about specifically one of my classes. Um, it was a biology class and it was um, genetics. So this class, um, the teacher is one of the best teachers at our school. And he, you know, the class was four days a week. We would go in the mornings and he would lecture to us. And it, he was a good lecturer, but the most times that I would, the best time that I would learn is outside of the classroom when he would, um, he would just take time from his schedule, two or three hours um, in the week, and he would sit down with us, and it wasn't a mandatory, so like anyone who wanted help could come to the class and get the help. So it was then that we you know, worked out problems that were in the book, and um, he really got to work with us personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and that's probably the most I learned in that class, was outside of the classroom and in an environment where we can ask questions um, so I realized that, you know, what was so good about these study sessions outside of the classroom was that, you know, we have to work, we had to do the material beforehand. We had to look through the book and figure out, um, you know, do I know how to do this one or do I not know how to do this one? So, you know, it, it required us to do our work ahead of time. But once we got into the, into the study classroom with him, then, you know, any questions we didn't know, we could ask him at that time and he'd be able to help us. So comparing this with Sabbath school, I think um, you know, it's great that we come to church and we you know, are able to listen to the sermons, but sometimes we need to ask questions. We have, and we can't really do that during a sermon. You can't really stand up and ask them, you know, I don't really understand what you're talking about at this point, but the right place for that is the Sabbath school where you can, it's smaller, um, smaller environments. You have teach, you know, one teacher to several students uh, and so that's the best time to be able to ask the questions that you're really, really wanting to know about. But the thing is, if we want to, if we, if we want to have questions to ask, we ha we'd have to learn beforehand the material to have questions. Um, sometimes they do come up when you're in Sabbath school and as you're learning, but I think the more you learn sometimes, the, the more questions you will have about things because you'll understand them even more. So then you'll not only have um, questions about the surface of the topic, but you'll be able to ask uh, really, really deep questions um, about the topic. And so I think um, this may, hopefully this encourage all of us to uh, continue to study. Uh, it's, it's hard to always study during the week because our lives get so busy, but I think it's, it's uh, rewarding when we come to Sabbath school and we learn so much. And it's not just from someone telling us something, but it's something that we've uh, worked out ourselves to and have asked questions. Um, so maybe today if we can, if we can all just, you know, ask questions and uh, grow together in Christ.